Vanquish, God Hard, No Deaths, and Maximum Time Bonus. This is 5-3. It's called Deception. So this level is quite famous for good reasons. It is a fight against two of the most capable opponents in the game. And if they decide to synchronize, like they often do, and hit you at the same time with, with de dangerous moves, you're going to die. That's just how this fight works. However, if you use cover intelligently, if you use the tools that you have at your disposal, and if you're aggressive, you will come out on top. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to... Did you hear that just there? Aim cut. Whatever he just said. Depending on what the bogeys say, depends on what they do. If you hear the words aim carefully, it means they're going to throw the EMPs at you and there's two of them. You have to shoot both of them or you're going to overheat. Overheating in this battle is very dangerous. The other bogey says something specific as well, but I don't quite know uh, what he says. And he throws a bunch of bombs. Those bombs that he throw can blow up through cover and kill you through cover. They do a whole host of really nasty things. You do not want that to happen. But did you see what I did just then? I waited until both the bogeys were together before I used my rocket launcher. Also, they will say, is it get ready? I think they say, they say a particular sound quote and they do a posture with the sword, which means they're gonna come close. And if they both come close at the same time, you can proceed to do incredible damage by shooting the rocket at your feet or by using EMPs in the shotgun. Uh, these two moves right now, this gives you a perfect opportunity to shoot at the bogey's wings and knock him down if you want to, or shoot him in the face and try and get that extra damage. But when they come close, your best ability is using your map, using the cover that you're close to, and just using situational awareness. The hardest part about this fight is, is exactly that, situational awareness. If you let them get on top of you and you don't do something about it, then you're in trouble. But here comes the red guy, a couple of shotgun shells as he's close, I knock him down, a couple more shotgun shells, roll away from him. There's an EMP to stun him. Here comes a bunch of bad things coming my way as I try and get my energy back. There's another EMP. Incredibly aggressive right now on the red guy. Everybody's coming for me right now. More EMPs, more panic, more get away from me when they're on me. More shooting, more insanity. The red guy's just chilling out. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's coming because it's the end of the fight. He is. And there it is. Looks easy, doesn't it? Oh my god, it's not. It's really not. But this fight is fair. This fight is really fair. If you put yourself in a bad spot, you die. If you react wrong, you die. But if you react right, you can stay alive very quickly. If you use the boost dodging, if you use the cover, it's it's very, 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 very fair. I didn't think it was going to be. I thought it was going to be bullshit. Uh, but you need to bear in mind as well, guys. I'm playing on PC. The PC runs at a consistently better frame rate. Its visual fidelity is way higher, so it's going to be a lot easier than the console version just because you can see what's happening. And that's a big thing. A lot of people don't seem to think it is, but it is. And then you get to this phase where you have a ridiculous capacity on the suit. You can do melee attacks and not overheat. Your bar's like four times longer than it's ever been. When you boost, you move twice as fast as you ever thought you could. It, it's just nuts. Like, if you can get to the checkpoint, you've done this mission. And the time limit is one of those time limits where when I actually killed both bogeys, I got the time limit the first try. You know, it wasn't like I failed it and I had to redo it. Um, I passed it, I got the time, and we were done. Like, I, I think this fight is absolutely amazing, but it's something you have to respect. If you disrespect the bogeys, you die. If you know how to disrespect them properly, you win. And, and that's what it's all about, guys. It's all about your movement, your understanding, listening to those audio cues, maximizing on damage, making sure you make your rockets count, making sure you use the EMPs when you get in a bad spot. And if you overheat, make sure that they are not near you and that you can get your life back, because if you don't, you're going to die. There's a reason why I used all those EMPs, is because if I didn't, I would have died. There's no two words about it. And then you get to do this quick time event where you tap the analogs, which is something. And then you get to shoot this guy, which is also something, because the aim is, is not very fun at all. It's very difficult to aim. Uh, but I'm under the impression here that if you shoot him in the head, it's a one shot, one kill. And I miss the first shot, and then I headshot him, which is uh, something. But here is the, the statistics for the mission. Four minutes, 30 seconds, zero deaths, 5,000 time bonus. There you go, guys. Deception is down. That's the end of the walkthrough. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps you get a better understanding of Vanquish, maybe a better appreciation. I hope if you've never seen this game before, it's made you go out and pick it up and understand what is so special about this game. And, 
yeah, I hope you enjoyed the project. It was a really, really fun one. The next thing you'll be seeing on the channel is kind of up in the air. I'm not too sure what it's going to be yet, but I've got some good ideas, and I hope to see you on those ideas. Thank you for watching. You take care now.